Hey guys, Jason Matthew here from Trinidad and Tobago and welcome to the Biochem GM YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing a worksheet on glycolysis. So if you don't think your glycolysis kung fu is you know up to mark as yet, please go to the YouTube channel and look at our videos on glycolysis, check your own notes, look at the, the textbooks and so on. And when you think you're ready to do battle, then come back and let's do this worksheet together. Now, it's you doing the worksheet. So, get your pen, get your paper ready, and get ready to write down some answers. So, glycolysis worksheet. But the first question is this. Name the two enzymes involved in the first and second priming reactions of glycolysis. So, you're going to press the pause button, and you are going to write down the answers for this. So there's two enzymes you need to name. Only when you think you have the enzymes, then you continue, you press play to continue to see the answers. So name the two enzymes involved in the first and second priming reactions of glycolysis. So the key thing is, they're not, now please be careful. They're not asking you what are the first and second enzymes in glycolysis. You know, they're asking you for the first and second priming reactions. And this here, priming, very important, right? So what do you think is the answer, guys? So don't shout it out, you know, write it down and make sure you, you, you write the correct one. All right, but let's see. Did you say hexokinase and PFK1? Excellent. So we can continue to the next question. Name the enzymes that catalyze reactions that consume ATP in glycolysis. Alright, so name the enzymes. There are 10 enzymes in glycolysis. Which of these 10 enzymes, if it's all 10 of them, if it's one of them, if it's nine of them, I don't know. You name the enzymes that consume ATP in glycolysis. Well, I hope you only had two enzymes there, you know, guys. The answer for this question is hexokinase and phosphofructokinase 1. And if you look at the names of these two enzymes, they have something in common. And what's that? Yes, kinase. Because a kinase enzyme is an enzyme that will phosphorylate, or in other words, add phosphate to a substrate molecule. And the source of the phosphate comes from ATP. So in glycolysis, hexokinase and phosphofructokinase 1, they are the two enzymes that catalyze reactions that consume ATP in glycolysis. So good guys, so you got, you got two correct, you're ready to go on to the next one. Name the enzyme that is responsible for the lysis part of glycolysis. Because if you look at the word glycolysis, there are two, you can break it up in two parts, glyco and lysis. Glyco for glucose, and what does lysis mean? That's correct. Lysis means split. So they, they are asking you in this question, out of the 10 enzymes that are in glycolysis, which enzyme is responsible for the splitting part of it? And if you know, if you can remember from glycolysis, you're taking a six carbon sugar and you're going to split it into two, three carbon pyruvate molecules. So they're asking you, what enzyme is responsible for this splitting stage where you go from the six carbons to two, three carbon molecules? So while I was talking, I'm hoping that you wrote down aldolase. All right. So good job so far, guys. All three correct. Excellent. So the next question is this. Name the enzymes that catalyze unidirectional reactions in glycolysis under normal physiological conditions in the cell. So again, there are 10 enzymes in glycolysis. I will tell you, I'll give you a hint. Seven of them are reversible reactions, meaning that the reactions under normal physiological conditions will go in both directions. But there are three enzymes that are catalyze unidirectional reactions in glycolysis. And unidirectional, as the name states, it means it goes in one direction only under physiological conditions. So what do you think those three enzymes as you should have? 
three enzymes on your paper and tada hexokinase pfk1 pyruvate kinase so if you got this one right you should go on to the next one if you find that you're getting some of these wrong i would suggest that you know you go back and you learn your glycolysis part with some more before continuing all right so new question guys name two enzymes that catalyze substrate level phosphorylation in glycolysis so there are 10 enzymes in glycolysis two of these enzymes catalyze substrate level phosphorylation reactions in glycolysis now what is substrate level phosphorylation people well you know that a cell can make atp in two ways one way is via oxidative phosphorylation and the other way is substrate level phosphorylation and the way in which you do it via glycolysis is substrate level phosphorylation oxidative phosphorylation involves mitochondrial proteins and the mitochondria so if you want to get some more details about substrate level phosphorylation please go and see the, the the videos on glycolysis so do you have your two enzymes now that's right you should have phosphoglycerate kinase and the other one will be pyruvate kinase so you should have those two enzymes name the enzyme that catalyzes a dehydration type of reaction in glycolysis hmm this might be a little tricky one you know i'm sure you you know the others are, are more famous in the 10 enzymes you know pfk1 and these got pyruvic kinase and hexokinase those are the big stars in glycolysis but you know there are other important enzymes in the game as well but but students they tend to forget these guys and unfortunately so i'm asking you to see if you're top of your game name the enzyme that catalyzes a dehydration type of reaction in glycolysis and i hope you got it the answer is enolase so we're moving on name the most regulated enzyme of glycolysis in other words who's the big man when it comes to glycolysis which enzyme is the most regulated one where is the heart of regulation of glycolysis targeting which enzyme and you should know this it's pfk1 phosphofructokinase 1. now guys there's something called pfk2 so that's why at least from my experience i make it clear that they must have pfk1 i don't want to see pfk I want to see PFK1, phosphofructokinase 1. Name the enzyme that catalyzes the reaction which produces NADH in glycolysis. So what is the enzyme that does this job? That's right. It's glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. So we're almost to the finish line. Name the enzymes involved in the preparation energy investment phase of glycolysis so name the enzymes involved in the preparation energy investment phase of glycolysis in other words you are investing it's you know because you should remember that glycolysis is could be split into two phases there's the energy investment phase and then there's the the energy payoff phase all right so you should have named the first five enzymes in the glyco glyco glycolytic pathway all right guys and the final question now name the enzymes involved in the payoff energy generation phase of glycolysis well it's a it's an easy one to figure out what, what well it's it's obviously the the, the second or uh, second five enzymes but the whole catch is now is for you all to name them so open your textbook check the videos and see if you see what the last five enzymes are all right so guys you know lsc like you know if, if this video was helpful to you please like it subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't as yet you know uh, become a biochemian become one of us and comment you know we look forward to hearing from you all let me know if you got all of these questions correct in one shot you know let us find out you know who got who got how long did it take you to get all the answers and so on all right and just give us feedback you know and as usual guys just a big thank you for all your support you know as i said before you know, it's, it's it's your comments it's your support 
that you know keeps this channel going so thank you very much for that more videos coming soon take care guys